Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone here for our back to school night here at Aurora Center Catholic High School. And we do our back to school night during Catholic Schools Week to really celebrate our, our history and the history of Catholic education in our community here at ACC. But we begin as we always begin with prayer. And so, uh, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We have a proclamation from the Gospel according to Mark. It was after the time of John the Baptist's arrest that Jesus appeared in Galilee proclaiming God's good news, saying, this is the time of fulfillment. The reign of God is at hand. Reform your lives and believe in the good news. As he made his way along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. And he called them, saying, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they immediately abandoned their nets, and they followed him. He went along a little further, and he caught sight of, of James, the son of Zebedee, in the boat with, with his father and with the hired hands. And he called him, and he too followed and left his father Zebedee with the hired hands in the boat. In the gospel of the Lord. And praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And, and, and we pray, dear Lord, open our hearts in a spirit of welcome and of wonder. Help us to be attentive to your word in our own lives and to listen to it as Jesus proclaimed your good news to his first followers, to Simon, to Andrew, to James, and to John, and to the others. Your word is sent to each of us. Help us to listen and to listen with open hearts and help us to then follow you and to share your good news and your hope with all in our world in our community, and in our families. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. And we ask, Lord, to watch over and bless all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. Amen. It's a pleasure to welcome you for our, what we affectionately call our spring back-to-school event in during Catholic Schools Week in either late January or early February, but it is our back to school night for our second semester courses. So it's an opportunity for, for me to welcome our families back. It's typically a, a time for you as parents to meet our teachers and to hear about the courses and to hear about the course expectations that your sons and daughters will have in their new classes for this new spring semester. But this evening is a little different because we're uh, doing this remotely, and so it provides us an opportunity of really reflecting on our school community, of celebrating the history of Aurora Center Catholic and the history of Catholic education in our, our local area. But it also is a reminder about the good work that's going on in our building now and that the experience that your sons and daughters are having. And so I, I, I encourage you to be willing to reach out to uh, you, the teachers of your sons and daughters, to listen to the course expectation, to connect with them by way of uh, email or phone calls, to be willing to look at the course expectations on, their, on the school website, and if you have questions, to, to reach out to our teachers about those things. We're here to help, and we're excited about the, the new courses that have just begun almost a month ago and are well underway in this cold beginning of this new, new term uh, for this school year. But it's an also an opportunity for us to look back. And looking back at, at our school, becomes a looking back at the history of Catholic education in our area. And uh, our school dates to Madonna High School in 1926, first Catholic high school in our area. 
and our proud tradition dates to the education that took place at Madonna High School initially from 1926 on and then continued with the founding of Ron Colley High School in the early 60s and then the merger of those schools to form what we know as Aurora Central Catholic High School in uh, the, the late 60s. And so for almost 100 years, we have attempted to follow the example of Christ the Good Teacher in our old buildings and now in our current campus. And we're proud of our mission. It's not just about, about teaching academic subjects. It's about teaching those academic sub subjects with a foundation that's rooted in Christ himself and trying to follow his good example. And that we're, we're preparing our students not only for their future endeavors, for, uh, for college, for university, for apprenticeships, for other things, but that we're preparing our students for their future endeavors so that they too may give back to our community and that they too may follow the example of Christ and that they realized that their lives, like all of ours, are marked for the promise of God and his kingdom. And so we celebrate that, that Aurora Center Catholic is a Christ-centered faith community and that we exist following Jesus' response to go and to teach all nations and to prepare them to share his good news. That is our purpose, and that's our mission. Our purpose at Aurora Center Catholic is to stimulate the guy students in their spiritual, their intellectual, their moral, emotional, social, and physical development through the acquisition, through the use of knowledge. And we are committed to this mission and committed to uh, encouraging our students' growth uh, in our school community, but then as they go forth, and that they're aware of their many gifts and their talents, and that they generously use those gifts and talents for the good for the good of all. And so, I'm, it's a pleasure to welcome you for our back to school evening. Uh, a couple pieces about this back to school evening. One is one is that uh, at this time of year, we look towards next year, and we look towards the process of registration for next year. So. Our current students, all of our current students, our freshmen, our sophomore, and our junior students, uh, their parents, you should have received a registration link, a readmission link, that invites you to click on the link and then to update all family information and to make any changes necessary to family information as part of the registration process. Also, our guidance department is, is now meeting with freshmen, sophomores, and juniors to help select classes for next year. And your sons and daughters will be bringing home our registration material, asking you to sign off on that material. And I encourage you to do that uh, as quickly as possible so we can begin the process of registering and completing our course uh, needs for the following year. We also had a wonderful opportunity of, of welcoming students to our building in December to take the placement exam. So these would be members of the class of 2025 who will be coming into the building as freshmen next year. For many of them, it was the first time that they've been back in school and uh, to take an exam or to take any classes. Now that's not true about students who are in, in Catholic schools who've been working in person and learning in person, but for many of the students who have not had that experience, it was their first time back in school. And we, we welcome them to our building. We're excited about all who took the placement exams and where they will do registration for next year and in a few weeks. But it's also an opportunity of remembering that there are students and families who may not get our information as easily because they're not in school at this point. And so we're really encouraging our current families to reach out to those who may be interested in becoming part of the ACC school community and to share the information 
for these prospective students and their families to become part of the ACC Charger community. And we do have a referral program uh, as part of that. So I, I encourage you, if you have neighbors or if you've heard of students who uh, might be interested in ACC, then please reach out to them. If you have friends and neighbors uh, who you think ought to be here, then you reach out to them and you encourage them to be part of our ACC school community. So I, th I thank you in advance for that. This is a, a time when, as we gather, uh, also looking towards uh, new things, new experience with school. And the most unusual at this point is that we have waited for quite some time for information about athletics. And we've received last week and we're working this week on uh, what athletics will look like for the remainder of the school year beginning uh, in these winter months with girls and then boys basketball, but also cheerleading and dance that will be going on and, and are resuming or beginning. And then what does it look like in terms of, of participation, about being able to see games and, and so forth. And at this time, we're working with our, con our conference to make some of those decisions uh, for our school community, for our student athletes, and for all uh, as, as, as possible. The one development, though, is that uh, over the course of the summer, we were uh, pleased to be part of a grant in which we were able to install two camera systems that allows us to broadcast all of our games, our games in our building, in our gymnasium, and games and track meets and other things out in our stadium with another camera system. So, so information about the Pixelot system will be made known by way of our, e of our, of our website, also by way of Charger Chat, that uh, you and anyone who might like to uh, participate from afar, even for those who are out of state who might like to see what their siblings are doing or what their cousins are doing at ACC and Charger Athletics uh, may, may log on and participate and watch what's going on here. When more details become uh, available to us about, about crowds and about other things with our sports, that will be made known. But at this point, uh, those decisions have yet, have yet to be made. So I, I thank you for your patience. It is wonderful to see Good evening, ACC parents. Welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Mr. Biederman. I'm the athletic director here at Aurora Central Catholic. I'm very excited to report to you the resumption of winter sports, most specifically boys basketball, girls basketball, and dance. We will also be resuming our cheer program in the coming weeks. Uh, additionally, our other sports uh, will begin in March, such as boys soccer, volleyball, football, at that time. The traditional spring sports will begin in April and carry into the summer months. More information will be coming on our athletic website as that information is given to us. Additionally, you can visit the IHSA.org to find guidelines for COVID-19 as well as uh, safety guidelines to the Illinois Department of Health through their all sports policy. We want to remind parents uh, for any athletes that are participating in the winter sports season that they must have an active physical on file. A physical can only be from 13 months ago uh, to the date in which uh, it is good. Additionally, we need to make sure that our athletes are signed up through our active sports network uh, for their respected sports. Uh, we did have registration open uh, before the, um, the winter sports began in, back in October, uh, but those registrations need to be redone. Uh, the the fees were refunded at that time, so anybody that registered in the fall will need to re-register come uh, this season. Additionally, uh, we've received guidelines to the IDPH as well as the IHSA of what we can, uh, what we can do and what we can't do uh, with these contests. All of our athletes indoors uh, must be masked during all of these contests while they are playing as well. We're taking additional precautions to make sure that our athletes are safe and that we are, um, we are following all the guidelines that were given to by the state. Uh, most recently, the IDPH and the IHSA uh, issued spectator guidelines uh, for, for gymnasiums, uh, for basketball. Uh, the, the guidelines are very restrictive. Uh, 
for example, uh, there has to be 30 feet of distance between the court and any spectator in the stands. Unfortunately, with this guideline in place, we are unable at this time to be able to offer any spectator seating for parents, students, other than our athletes that are competing in the games. We, we regret this, we, we, wish, we wish we were able to, but with those guidelines that we've been given by the IDPH and the IHSA with 30 feet between the court and any spectator, we don't believe it's possible at this time to have fans at our contests. We have, however, prepared for this. Uh, over the summer, we installed uh, online streaming services and cameras in our gym and also in our outdoor stadium. We will be able, we will be able to live broadcast any events uh, moving forward. So any basketball game, any you know, football game, any soccer game, any cheer or dance contest, we will be able to broadcast live through the NFHS network. Uh, students will be sent home, will be given forms th this week, sent home so that they can, uh, parents can subscribe to this network. It is $9.99 a month if you choose that option or $69.99 for the year. Uh, we will live stream every event, every level uh, as, we, as we move forward. Once again, we regret that at this time we will not be allowed to have fans uh, in our stands based on the 30-foot guideline between the court space and our spectators. We, if the IDPH revisits this or the IHSA revisits this, we will adjust our policy accordingly. Thank you, and if you have any questions, please reach out to me in the athletic office at 630-907-0095. We will also be putting all visitors' protocols uh, for our athletes as well as um, any parents that are interested to seeing the, um, the safety protocols and guidelines that are in place on our website in the coming days. Our athletic schedules are up to date now for the, uh, for the winter seasons of basketball. Uh, they, are, they are updated as well uh, in the next coming days for volleyball and soccer and football. And, and we will also have all the other sports up to date as we are moving forward in the coming weeks. Uh, once again, I thank you for your time and, and God bless you and be safe. Good evening. I'm Lea Dakanai Rodriguez, Development Director for Aurora Central Catholic High School. Um, and I oversee all the fundraising activities for the school. Now, why do we need to fundraise? We really want to keep our tuition as low as possible. And the tuition that is paid for each student doesn't really fully cover the cost of educating each child. So we need to find a way to bridge that gap. And the way for us to do this is through our fundraising initiatives. Basically, every child receives some tuition assistance and scholarship, and we all work together um, to raise the additional funds for the school. We conducted our largest fundraiser last October, which is the annual appeal, and I want to thank everyone who participated with a donation to our annual appeal. Um, we have another fundraising event, which is our largest special event fundraiser. It's our Super Saturday Night. Um, this event typically is a fun party, and it's an in-person event that we have for the school. Now, last year, due to COVID, we had to make it an online event, and this year we are doing another online Super Saturday Night and it will be from April 29th to May 1st. So I want to invite everyone to be part of our Super Saturday night um, from April 21 to May 1st and be our silver lining. Um, this event takes uh, a lot of hands to, to put together. Um, we have our teachers, our current parents, past parents, students, alumni all help us with the raffles, the silent auction, um, the virtual program, and fund the need. So I hope that um, you will consider helping, and some of you have already. And for those who have uh, uh, already donated or are participating, thank you very much for being part of our team. Um, for those who are still looking for ways to participate. Um, there are different ways that you can do this. You can help us by securing donations for our silent auction. You can um, donate gift cards uh, or gift certificates for restaurants, for travel, hotel stays, events. You can also donate household items or technology items like an iPad, 
even services certificates for services and if you are creative you can come up with a basket we typically put baskets together for a silent auction but you can create your own basket and donate that basket and it will be part of the silent auction selections that we have also if you know of businesses or companies who may want to help us with a sponsorship package we have different packages that um, you can share with them and hopefully they can participate with um, another way to help us is through our raffle tickets you can sell and buy raffle tickets for the pot of blue and gold and this includes a grand cash price of twenty five hundred dollars and there are other cash prices available as an incentive for our parents for every four tickets you sell you will receive one ticket that will be put into the tuition raffle and the winner the uh, gets a thousand dollars off of the tuition of their student um, another way to participate is through our class basket raffle and there are four class baskets that will be raffled off and you can either donate to the basket you can um, buy raffle tickets or you can help sell raffle tickets for this class basket each basket is valued at about 450 to almost 500 dollars um, the tickets cost five dollars each or you can get five for twenty dollars um, additional information will be available online um, our website will be up and running sometime in mid-february and watch out uh, for the postcard invitation that will be coming in the mail also this mid-february so i hope you can participate and be part of this um, event i know it's going to be online but it will be a fun um, silent auction um, and we had our largest participation last year and we are looking to increasing that participation raise at least sixty thousand dollars for for this event um, before i say good night uh, i just want to remind everyone that the simplest and easiest way that you can participate is through um, smile.amazon.com so if you already shop at amazon um, either the regular amazon or amazon prime if you sign in on smile.amazon.com you can um, the part of the proceeds will go to acc and i know this seems like it's very little but we have seen it grow in the last two years uh, last year we saw a 300 percent increase in donations so you can invite your friends and relatives and just choose acc as the charity of choice and we will get part of the proceeds of the, your shopping experience um, your support really means a lot to acc so, so i really want to thank each one of you um, for all that you do for the school so enjoy the back to school night and again thank you very much Good night.